We're here with Kitten Coquette, burlesque dancer. Um, Kitten, how long have you been dancing? I've been dancing burlesque for about, um, probably about six years, maybe a little bit longer actually. I've sort of lost track. <laughs> And do you dance with the troupe or all on your own or a little bit of both? I do a little bit of both. Um, I dance with a new troupe called Ultra Vixen's Peep Show. <laughs> <And> so <laughs> we just started it. Um, our new troupe includes um, Ruby LaRouge, mm -hmm. uh, Miss Fatima, who's a really good dancer. Mm -hmm. She's kind of new, but um, we're kind of calling ourselves the burlesque super group because <laughs> 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 we've all been performing burlesque, with the exception of Fatima, we've all been performing burlesque for at least five years, <laughs> everyone who's involved. Um, Are th is everybody in Vancouver? Um, Ruby travels to Europe a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I travel quite a bit too, but we're all sort of based, our home base is Vancouver. <laughs> <laughs> so it's good to have home base. Yeah. So how do you get into burlesque dancing? It's something I've always been interested in actually. Um, before I actually started performing burlesque as it's labeled burlesque, um, I did a lot of stuff with drag shows actually, um, which is the same as my friend Fatima, Miss mm -hmm. Fatima who dances. Mm -hmm. When I started, it was actually through a mutual friend who um, brought, together, brought me together with this other person who had the idea of doing a burlesque show mm -hmm. and putting on something, um, just putting on some sort of cabaret, something that, that was along those sort of lines. and. Um, they knew that I was interested in doing something like this as well. So we started putting on shows and everything just sort of grew from there. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, did you have a background in dance or? Yes, um, I was actually, I actually went to a fine arts elementary school. Mm -hmm. So we kind of had to take dance. <laughs> <laughs> I had to, um, it wasn't my major once I got into high school, but basically like when the other kids were taking social studies and home ec, I had to take dance and drama and all that stuff. Oh, it was torture. Like it was like fame, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> I think that would be really cool to grow up doing that. So is dancing what you do full time or is there something else that you have? Uh, well, right now, um, I just learned how to do, um, <laughs> I spend a lot of time um, in Calgary, Alberta, because that's where my husband lives. Mm -hmm. And um, it's very cold there, and there's not a lot to do outside. So I decided one night I'd just sit up and start learning how to do HTML um, and web design because I'd wanted to do a website for myself for a long time, and I could never find someone who could do it the way I wanted it. Mm -hmm. So I said, oh, I can do it myself. And Always better do it yourself. <laughs> yeah, and then I found out, oh, it's actually not very hard. Why, <laughs> why, why would I want to pay someone for this? But, um, that's actually what I've been doing um, freelance yeah. ever since. I, um, it's something I just sort of caught on. I have a, an arts background, so mm -hmm. I think that helps. And um, I enjoy uh, creating things at the, the digital medium. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a lot less messy than uh, paint and uh, oils and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> at least for right now, since I'm traveling so much, it's, it's something I can do anywhere. Mm -hmm. So I really enjoy it. Well, thank you for talking with us, Kitten. Thank, thank you. you for your performance.
what big eyes you have. My, what big ears you have. My, what big teeth you have. I said, all the better, all the better, all the better to eat you with now.